What's going on everybody? Brian from Angling Anarchy here and what we're going to do in today's video is look back on 2019 at the top five biggest muskies that we put into my boat and I just want to start this video off by saying thank you to everybody, all you subscribers, everybody that's watched. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I, I never thought I'd be at this point. Um, just a dude that likes to fish and film. Um, so the fact that there's anybody watching me is pretty cool quite honestly. Um, I have a full-time job, wife and kid, uh, so uh, putting out one video a week is a, was a goal of mine for 2019 and got pretty darn close. I think we did 48 out of 52 weeks, so um, we're going to just keep on that schedule every Saturday morning at 8.30. With that, let's get on to the top five muskies of 2019. The number five fish is a 48-inch muskie from Eagle Lake in Ontario. And if you guys watch this channel at all, you know I love going to that lake. I go there twice a year. Um, this was on our spring trip on one of the last couple of days. And uh, we'd fished around this piece of structure, raised the fish, and came around back to it. And we're about to take off. And we were just gonna make one or two more casts. And here's what happened. Had to be close. Fish. <laughs> it's gonna be tough this close to the rocks here. She is. She's out. And she's out. Wow. One of those rare moments when you actually go get her locked in first. Go back on a fish and it hits. I must have dropped right on her noggin because it was like one pump of the bait and it was game on. Looks like I'll need some new hooks for that one. <laughs> Let's get a look at her. Let's get a look at her. Oh, she's angry. All right. A little rock rubbing on the nose. Ah, oh, that's a nice fish. Probably a mid mid forties or so. Give me a smile, bro. <laughs> Got it? Okay. Alright. It's a long one. That's another 48 a bit. Yeah. Come on. Wow. Right on the nuts there, Jay. 48. Oh, come on, girl. Oh. I am glad we came back around on that one. Oh. All right, come on, lady. Yeah, she wants to go. Feisty one. Got a couple of spawn scars on her. Well, we went from 17 fish looking to finally got one to hit. And hopefully we can get a couple more. Fish number four is also a four footer, but uh, instead of the large, vast waters of Eagle Lake, it came from the tiny, less than 200 acre uh, body of water up in northern Wisconsin and uh, it's my biggest fish in Wisconsin inland fish in Wisconsin anyway uh, to this point and uh, Yeah, this this was a really fun one um, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the video, but we'll take a look at this anyway Fish
Ready? Hold on, hold on. I know. Let me swing around. Right here. Good fish. It just stopped me, man. Yeah. It just, and all I saw was a giant head. Holy cow. Oh, I'm freaking out. Okay. Wow, I'll, I'll take it up here. I'll measure across the front. Put the, uh, the head of it up, up here. My goodness, I don't even know what to say. This is a big fish. What do you, what guesses? 46, 40, I'm guessing 46 too. 46, 47. Yeah. yeah. But a big 46. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nope, nope, come on, girl. Nope, 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 nope. Look at this fish. Oh, oh my gosh, that is a nice northern Wisconsin fish. Wide fish. Look at that, 48. 48. 48. Wow. Yes. <laughs> a northern Wisconsin 48. This is a giant, folks. Oh, holy cow. Let's get this fish back in. I'm gonna put her in back here. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. I got the tail to go just over the 48, so this is, wow. That's my biggest inland Wisconsin muskie right there on that 12 inch navin. Fish number three is a 48 and a half incher, a big fat 48 and a half incher that I caught on my spring trip to Eagle Lake. Uh, we'd been dealing with some cooler temps, um, so we were searching for fish in, in shallow water, weren't really finding them. Uh, finally on this day, it had started to warm up for a day or two, and got a dog in the background. Finally on this day, it started warming up a little bit, and we were able to crack out the top waters, and we caught five fish, I think, in a relatively short amount of time, and this 48 and a half was one of them. Okay, you ready? Well, I'm ready. Okay. She just got me down here. She's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay, she's heading this way. I'll try to. Ready? Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna turn around. Here we go, here we go. Oh boy, no. Okay. Head first, there we go, there we go. That's a big one, Brian. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah I guess I'll... Don't move, girl. My hand is right on a hook. Right on a hook. All right, she's in the water. Let's get a look here. Okay. Ready, Jay? Oh, that is a heavy fish. That's a big fish, guys. Wow. We went from fall conditions like three days ago to throwing top waters and bucktails on a heavy fish. That is a moose. Yeah, it is. Upper 40, colder. 48 and a half. 48 and a half, and look at the belly. That is just a heavy, heavy Eagle Lake fish on a top water. All right. Oh, 
behavioral. Right, hold her up one more time. It wasn't recording. I got pictures of no record. Oh, no recording? All right, well. Do it again. We got ourselves a nice, nice big Eagle Lake fish. We're gonna get her back in the water. 48 and a half inches. Yep. Keep an eye on her, but wow. The number two fish in the boat is actually my personal best. We caught it on the Northern Wisconsin opener up on the Fox River, up around Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, and this, if you've ever been up there for the opener, it, it gets busy. So you're fishing amongst a lot of boats and it just so happened that uh, my buddies, Robbie and Lee from Today's Angler, were about 100 yards away when I boated this fish. So uh, it's kind of cool. They use it in one of their videos. Um, but yeah, this was a, a 52 inch fish, just a behemoth of a fish from the Fox River in Green Bay. Fish! Fish! Feels good. Hey! Ready? Yep. Nice fish, dude. Yeah. Nice fish. Dude, monster! Yeah! Dude, that's a tank! Yeah, it is. Yeah, all right, well, we just scored, came out here and did what we wanted to do. We've got a big fish in the net. I think it's over 50, but let's take a look. You think so? Wow, dude. Okay, you ready? Yep. Oh my god, that is a giant. That is a Green Bay giant. Oh, look at that thing. Let's get a measure. Oh, what a fish. What a fish. Oh, dude, it's 52. 52. 52 inch. Come on, mama. You wanna get a girth on that? We'll get it back in the net, we'll get a girth, but let's. Oh, one more. Oh, my gosh. That is the best thing ever, a 52. All right. All right, we are going to let this girl go. One last look at her. What a tank. Oh, look at that head. Look at that fish. What a gorgeous animal. All right, back in the water. You want to grab that big camera or just film with that, whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. Ooh, there she goes. There she goes. That was so awesome. And last but not least, the number one fish in my boat for the year was actually not caught by me. It was caught by my friend, Matt. It was the week after I caught my 52-inch personal best fish. It was also a 52-inch fish, 
but it was quite uh, a bit heavier, we think. It, it had a bigger girth, so that's why I'm giving it the number one spot on this list. Uh, but this was a cool one, because this is also Matt's personal best. He beat it by a good half foot. Um, so this was a gargantuan fish for him. Um, and it topped off, I think, about a 17-hour day of fishing. So all that time that we spent on the water not necessarily doing anything or seeing anything really paid off in a big way. Just yes. Your fist. Yes. Oh. Wow. Oh wow. We have been out here for 18 Man. hours, killing ourselves, and Matt, I guarantee you, has his personal best muskie right now. Oh my gosh. Bait is out. It's out. Get the uh, bump board. Dunk it for me, please. Oh, I'm shaking for you, Matt. Oh, that is a big fish, guys. Support, support, support her belly. Support her. Get, her belly. Get her belly. Dude, that's a monster, dude. Oh, man. Awesome. You, hold on, push out your right hand. There you go. Okay, get a bump. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Yeah, Do you want to girth her? Are you gonna get a mount? I, I would like Okay, put a bit put it in the net. Oh I can't tell you how excited every single one of us is because if you're not if you don't know musky fishing, musky fishing is absolutely a team sport. And that is so fantastic, especially to see someone get their personal best like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dump the net. Yeah, dump the net. That's it. We're going to wrap this up. Thank you everybody for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see in this coming year, like I said, I've got to try to fill 52 weeks up of videos. So we'll see what we can come up with. If you have any ideas for me, uh, whether it's instructional or places to go, that sort of thing, uh, go ahead and don't be afraid to throw them in the comments. I appreciate it. Uh, and with that, let's see if we can make 2020 better than 2019. All right. Bye.